I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a diagram of a Spanish mission. We take three fingers over here on the left and let's put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy wavy line left to right. This area down here we are going to make a key so that we can label our mission up here. The next thing I do is I take two fingers right about here and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line over, little straight line down, straight line over, little straight line up. Right above that I draw a curved line over, connect, and above that I put one, two straight lines. I come in a little bit and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line down on the left, connect, straight line down, connect on the right. I come inside and I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, come to the next space, straight line, curve line, connect, straight line, curve line, connect. Right about here I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line, and now I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, straight line down, and connect. I'm going to mimic this line, draw it again, curve line, curve line, straight line, curve line, curve line, connect. I come right in the center and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come down and I draw a straight line, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Right above that I put a skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And I draw one, two straight lines, one straight line in the center. I come over here on this space and I draw a straight line in, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, straight line over, and leave it floating. I come right up at the top and I put a dot and I'm just going to draw a curve line down, curve line over, curve line down, curve line in, connect. Right about here I put another dot. And I'm just going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. And now a big curve line down once, twice. Now I can bring this line over, jump over, continue that line, straight line, straight line down, connect. Right here I'm going to draw a big straight line straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to draw a big straight line down the center. One, two, little straight lines. Down over here I draw a little straight line, straight line, straight line, and a dot. And on this side I'm going to draw one curve, two curve lines. Okay. This is not a specific mission. This is just an example. And we're going to label all this, so just follow along drawing. I come up to the top and I draw one, two, three straight lines. And inside I'm going to draw a straight line out, in, down, up, straight line out, in, up, connect. I can put one, two, three, four little straight lines and some little curved lines on the right little curved lines on the left. I come right where I stopped and I'm going to put a little straight, little straight skinny rectangles on either side. Now I come in and I draw a straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Inside this I draw a baby circle, 
I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line up. I draw a little curve line inside, little curve line inside, and then I draw little straight lines going out, dot, dot. Now, connected to this, I go all the way over. Straight line, straight line, keep going, connect. And inside, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. We'll all end up with a different amount inside, inside, inside curve lines because we all draw differently. Now I draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, inside, out, in, out, in, out, in, little curve line up, curve line over, wavy line, wavy line, little curve line. I'll explain all this when we get done. We're almost done, I swear. All right, now I draw straight line down, connect, straight line down, connect, and I'm going to put little straight lines in between, okay? Now I come over here, and right in the middle, I'm going to put straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. I'm going to put a straight line on top, straight line on top. I'm going to put a little half curve line, curve line, connect, straight line, baby square inside. If you have room, you can put some little curve lines and add some straight lines in between. Then we're going to put one square, two squares, three squares, four squares. All right, come all the way up to the top and we're just going to put wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. Now over here on the left, big curve line, straight line, connect, little curve line inside, color it in, curve line up, straight line, connect, little curve line, color it in, one more, curve line, straight line, little curve line, color it in. And now, we're all going to have a different one of this too. Straight diagonal, straight line down, straight diagonal, rectangle. Okay, come back up, mimic that line. Straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal, right there to that rectangle. Okay, now. What did we just draw? All right, so right here, put a number one and put a circle around it so you can see it. And this is the church, okay? This part is the bell tower. This is the entry. These are the big gates that open up to the courtyard. And these are the little ones that just let in people and not supplies. But number one is a church. Number two is the priest's quarters. Priest's quarters. This is where they lived. And so there's my little monk in there. And number three, right here, are all the workshops because the mission was really a place of work and labor. Okay? Number four up here is the kitchen. And everybody's might look different because we all draw differently. Number five is all of these little boxes. These are the storerooms. You know, the missions were working spaces, so all the agricultural, all the supplies, all of that would come in here. Number six, this is our well for water. This is number seven, and I forgot. Let's put some little curved lines inside. These are wiki ups, and this is where the indigenous people had their living quarters. Their huts. Indigenous people 
huts, which was basically free labor for the Spanish and the mission. Number eight, this space right here, this is the irrigation ditch because they had to have water. They had to have water. So that's the irrigation ditch. And where did the water come from? Number nine, up there is the river. Okay? I know it's a lot. Take your time. Split this up into sessions. Session one could be drawing. Session two could be making the key and labeling. Now, session three could be coloring. Okay, when you do a project like this, you do not want to color everything in so much that you lose your drawings. So, we're going to keep it real, real simple. And as always, I like to do everything all at one time with the colors. So, I'm going to make my indigenous people's huts over here brown. Then, I'm going to do some of the actual parts of the mission trim brown. I'm going to do my windows brown. And I'm really not coloring inside the lines. I think I need new crayons. But you all will do a way better job, but you get the general idea. I'm doing all of the accents brown. Working my way over. And these gates, these are huge gates. I saw them at San Gabriel Mission. They would open up these gates to let in supplies with the mules and the carts. But if you were just visiting the mission down here on the right almost, you would just walk in through this little baby door. Here's one of the palm trees. And these are archways. Okay. These are all brown. Now I'm going to come up and I'm going to color this part of my monk. I'm going to make him brown. And I'm going to do my archways over here by the workshops. And this is where they made candles. This is where they made all of the foodstuffs. Then this is the kitchen. So I'm going to make a little fire over here. And I think that's it for my brown. Next, I found a peachy color. So I'm going to color in my mission this color. So here's the church. Here's the front. You know, and like I said, don't pick a dark color because then you'll lose your drawings. But I'm going to color this main sections all with this peach. Now, depending on where the mission was determines what kind of building materials they had. So in this case, this looks kind of adobe, but there's some, uh, some missions, I'm going to color around my monk, there are some missions that have more of a woodsy feel because that's what they had around them, more of a forest woodsy thing. Okay. Next, I take my green. This is the plaza. Now, the other reason that this is important as far as like how to label a mission, it's because part of the reason the Spanish could have the missions that they did have that took over the West Coast, the Southwest, the Gulf of Mexico, is that they always made their missions pretty much the same format. So that's my green. I'm going to come over here and color in my cross yellow. And color in maybe they're having some gruel or something yellow over here in the kitchen. Take my gray and use that for my pot over here. And then finally I'm going to take my blue. They had to be by a river, a lake, some kind of fresh water. So I'm just going to put some blue up here. And then this is how, this is the irrigation ditch. Because if they didn't have water, they couldn't operate. And this is like a little reservoir that they would have in blue. Okay? 
Then because I'm me, I took a pink. Oh, I didn't do my well. Let's do this all gray. And just a touch of color, which they probably didn't do, but I am. There's my well. Then I'm just taking my pink because I wanted a little bit of color. And I just did straight pink lines. You could do orange, just a little bit of something. I could have done yellow. I did pink. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, so this is a diagram of a Spanish mission. Like I said, it pretty much was the same format across all of New Spain and California, Georgia, Florida, every place they were colonizing. Okay, bye-bye.